This is Omnipod 5, a brand new version of this tubeless insulin pump. You can start using it right now or really soon, depending on which country you are in. In this video we'll go through the key features of Omnipod 5, what's new, what makes Omnipod 5 so unique, when exactly you can get it and how it feels using it in real life. Let's go! The new Omnipod 5 is an automated insulin delivery system and it's the first ever tubeless AID connected to a continuous glucose model. Monitor. This means that the amount of insulin delivered by the pod changes based on your current blood glucose and based on what your blood sugar is predicted to be 60 minutes into the future. The Omnipod 5 system consists of three parts. The pod which is placed on your body, the continuous glucose monitor also placed on your body and the controller which you can use to control the system. The controller is included in the Omnipod 5 intro kit but you can also use a compatible smartphone if you install the Omnipod 5 app. Link to the list of compatible apps is down below. Can we please take a pause here and fully appreciate what Omnipod really did here? Not only is this the first ever tubeless automated insulin delivery system, this also is the first ever FDA approved insulin pump that can be fully controlled from a phone. That's a game changer. The Omnipod 5 uses the smart adjust algorithm which is located inside the pod and receives the glucose value directly from the CGM to determine how much insulin to deliver every 5 minutes. The main goal of the algorithm is to steer the CGM value towards your chosen target glucose to help you improve your timing range. It's kind of like a driving assistant that helps you steer the car to stay exactly in the middle of your lane. But it does the same thing with blood sugars, not with your car. The target glucose values are customizable and you can set them depending on your daily needs between 110 and 150 milligrams per deciliter. And you can have up to eight different targets during different times of day based on your individual needs. The smart adjust algorithm increases the insulin delivery when it sees that your predicted blood glucose is too high and decreases or completely stops the insulin delivery when it sees that your predicted blood glucose is too low. The system also has an activity feature which you can activate during times when you exercise and it automatically reduces basal insulin delivery so that your blood sugar doesn't drop too low. When the activity feature is on your target glucose is automatically set at 150 milligrams per deciliter. Another key feature of the Omnipod 5 system is that its algorithm has the ability to learn, adjust and adapt your insulin delivery to your current needs. As you use the system the amount of insulin you receive every day and every hour is stored in memory and it's used by the algorithm to decide how much insulin to deliver in response to your CGM value in the future. In other words the pod uses artificial intelligence and machine learning mechanisms. Each pod learns from its experience and from the experience of previous pods that you had on your body. So we might be able to observe more efficiencies and better results when it comes to time in range compared to AIDs that don't have this machine learning functionality because those only rely on the data entered by the user. But patience will definitely be key here because the algorithm will need some time to learn how to best work with your body and you will need some time to learn how to best work with the algorithm. To switch to an automated mode you need an active pod and a valid Dexcom G6 transmitter number saved in your Omnipod 5 app on your phone. You can turn the automated mode on and off anytime just by one click in the Omnipod 5 app. And yes right now Omnipod 5 only works with Dexcom G6 but I'm a believer and I believe it will work with Dexcom G7 shortly after the G7's launch which by the way just happened in some European countries and I also believe that it will work with Freestyle Libre at some point because the companies behind Omnipod and Freestyle Libre have previously partnered to offer an integrated digital health platform. Now here is what makes Omnipod 5 unique when we compare it to other automated insulin delivery systems. First of all the Omnipod 5 system is tubeless so if you are not a big fan of tubing Omnipod 5 is a clear choice for you. And what is quite cool and unique is that the algorithm Algorithm is located directly inside the pod on your body, not in some other external device like a phone or another box or a receiver or whatever you want to call it. It's directly in that pod on your body. And the CGM speaks directly to the pod without a middleman. So there is constant communication and adjustment to the insulin levels even if you don't have your controller nearby. In other words you don't need to carry any other device on you and still take full advantage 
of the algorithm and of the automated insulin delivery system. Another unique feature of Omnipod 5 is the smart bolus calculator. When you take your insulin shot with your meal, aka bolus, the smart bolus calculator takes into account not only the amount of carbs you eat and the current glucose level, but it also takes into account the trend of your glucose. Each bolus is automatically adjusted depending on if your glucose is trending upwards or downwards. Now one thing to keep in mind is that Omnipod 5 can only be connected to one controller or one phone. It cannot be connected to multiple devices. So anytime you switch from one controller to another or from a controller to a phone, the algorithm will lose everything it has learned. So always be very careful before you make these kind of changes. Similar to its predecessor, Omnipod 5 has 72 hours or 3 day wear time. It's waterproof up to 25 feet for up to 60 minutes, provides non-stop insulin delivery, and priming the pot with insulin as well as applying the pot to your body is also the same as it was with Omnipod Dash. You can apply the pot anywhere where you would normally apply insulin. So your arms, your abdomen, your thighs, your upper buttocks, you know the rules. Also, if I got this correctly, the Omnipod 5 in manual mode will work pretty much exactly the same as Omnipod Dash. So the major change here is really only the algorithm inside the pod. But if you ask me, it's a big one. Now I want to bring you some real life experience with Omnipod 5 and tell you how it actually feels using it. And because I can't buy it just yet in Switzerland and what I've been showing you up until now here in this video is just a demo pod. I asked a friend of mine who has been using the Omnipod 5 for a while to share her impressions. Here is what she had to say. And by the way, she's quite popular on Instagram. So if you recognize her, comment below and say hi. Hi, my name is Meg. I've been on the Omnipod 5 for about three months now and I absolutely love it. I was on the Omnipod Dash before this for about three years and since I made the switch, I'm just spending so much less time thinking about diabetes and so much more time living my life while still getting really good numbers. The thing that I love the most about the Omnipod 5 is the automated mode. Not only does it increase and decrease your basal rates every five minutes based on your Dexcom CGM values, but it also takes your daily total insulin insulin and creates basal rates so you have the most accurate basal rates possible. So let's say for example on Saturdays I use a lot less insulin because I'm more active and I'm not sitting behind a computer. It's going to recognize that in the algorithm and then start giving me lower basal rates on Saturdays. With that double layer of protection, so let's say there was a Saturday where I was sitting behind a computer, not very fun, it would know that because my Dexcom values would be telling it that. So you have this double layer of protection where it's kind of being proactive in in guessing those basal rates. And then if it happens to be a little bit wrong, then the Dexcom CGM values are able to help it. See that right there, I think is the machine learning component. Max says she's usually more active on Saturdays and the system learns that and already takes that into account for the future and will adjust the Saturday basal insulin delivery based on that information. It's automatically personalizing the insulin dose. Other AIDs don't do that. The controller for the Omnipod 5 is also awesome. I find that the battery life is a lot better than the Omnipod Dash. It lasts for like days and also it's just a really easy to use interface. When it comes to choosing a pump, everybody is different. I personally love the Omnipod 5 because it really helps me live an active lifestyle. The fact that there's no tubes, the fact that it has this awesome activity mode that works a lot differently than other looping pumps, and just like how good it is at preventing lows, it really lets me lead a really active lifestyle. And so I definitely think people that like that kind of stuff will benefit from the Omnipod 5. One thing I would say to people going on the Omnipod 5 is there's definitely a learning curve. This is not a traditional pump because you're not using manually set basal rates except for on that first pod. So because it's creating your basal rates, you kind of have to totally change the way that you're thinking about pump therapy. And for some people, that's gonna be a lot because you are gonna have to make some adjustments in order to find that perfect spot where it works really well. That's right, as I mentioned before, patience will be key here. But as Mac kind of confirmed, if you stay patient, you will get results. I absolutely recommend this pump. I think the technology is so awesome and it's different than anything else out there on the market. However, you do have to be someone who's willing to make adjustments and learn how to use a new technology. So if you're not really familiar with technologies or maybe you're not really willing to make some adjustments in the beginning to get to that spot where it works really well, the Omnipod 5 might not be for you. I personally can't believe I went so long without automated mode and I never wanna go back. 
That's great to hear. Thanks a lot, Mac. So when and how can you get the Omnipod 5? Well, if you're in the US, you can get Omnipod 5 right away because it's been approved by the FDA and it's already fully launched in the United States. It should be available in pharmacies and with all major diabetes supplies distributors. And if you are in Europe, you can celebrate as well because just a couple of weeks ago, Omnipod 5 has been approved for the European markets, including the UK. The company is planning to launch in Europe around mid-2023, so you can expect an unboxing video and first impressions video around that time from me. The thing is Omnipod 5 is not the only automated insulin delivery solution. The biggest competitor right now is Tandem T-Slim X2, which is the insulin pump that I have right now. So definitely check out my full review of T-Slim X2 before you decide what system to get. Click here and watch that video next. And don't forget to connect with Mac. She has an awesome YouTube channel and a great Instagram account. Links are down below. Ciao!